what have you been most encouraged by since you began this journey and began your research? Uh, I've been most encouraged by the people uh, working with us as volunteers at the Mirror Reflection. So we have committed to be a nonprofit and uh, a lot of people are devoting their personal time. Many are essentially treating it as a second job. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, certainly 10 to 20, 30 hours a week. Uh, on weekends also are uh, meeting our, uh, on weekends. And the students uh, participate also to contribute to the research. But it's also a good learning experience for, uh, for the students. And many of our even high school participants uh, were able to produce very uh, useful data and the designs. And many are advancing to good schools. Uh, we are also witnessing more and more citizens uh, really wanting to participate in testing out reflectors and just documenting uh, how durable they are, how they interact with local uh, plants and fauna. Uh, so we are in a phase uh, where uh, we'll be expanding rather quickly uh, over the next year or two as uh, uh, the large field experiments get more established. What's been the biggest obstacle or new discovery you've made that could challenge your initial theory? Um, I guess it's really much in the details. So, so initially we thought, okay, we don't want to bother anybody with these uh, surface reflectors. So let's just uh, implement them in the desert, let's say. So I have since uh, realized that that's not a really good idea for several reasons. One of which is they would become dusty very easily in such an environment. Secondly, they might prevent you know, the release of sand and minerals from desert into the ocean, which are quite important for uh, phytoplankton to, to thrive in the oceans. But the general idea that uh, surface-based light reflection is a cost-effective way to reestablish energy balance for the planet has not really changed. And uh, the initial estimate of how much surface area that's needed also has not changed. So it works out to about 10 to 20% of agricultural land on earth from now until end of the century if the goal was to stabilize current climates while assuming worst case scenario that we continue to emit fossil fuel at the current rate without uh, any reduction. I think you have a very compelling story from a human side in that you know people want a reason to hope and you, you see something that you believe could uh, really make a difference. You know, what do your friends and family say? Is it hard to convince some of them that uh, what you're doing is the right thing and that you know what you're doing? Uh, I think my friends are very supportive. Uh, many of them are, you know, I met through school and also at uh, Harvard, at Roland. So they're scientifically literate. So they're fully supportive. And they're, many of them are professors at different institutions and they are trying to help me uh, in the project whenever they can. Um, with my family, it's a little bit more uh, difficult. Uh, uh, you know, my, my parents, uh, they're Chinese immigrants uh, and uh, they are rather traditional and they would rather have a, uh, you know, peaceful family life than to really give yourself out there for something that uh, in all likelihood might not even uh, have a eventual world impact. So it's a bit more difficult for my parents to come to terms with uh, my decision. But gradually, as you know, more extreme events manifest themselves in the news, they are more and more supportive. At this point, do you have any regrets? Uh, no, no, no. I, I think uh, it, it's a calling. I think it's a risk, very basic ethical decision. Knowing what I know and having had the privilege of attending the schools and the institutions that I have attended and uh, having uh, been the first generation of scientists that's really trained in an interdisciplinary way and with that uh, sort of interdisciplinary emphasis. I think uh, it's basically my duty to, to give back uh, to society. And, uh, uh, and it's also a very fun field, to be honest, um, to be able to look at different fields of science and engineering interacting in what is climate change and the solutions for climate change.